is Jason Johnson with the T1 Trust. I'm coming to you from Dover, Ohio, the manufacturer of our locomotive frame, Dover Tank and Plates. They are getting ready for final assembly of the frame itself. Uh, this is an exciting time for us, uh, and we're bringing a little bit of tidbits of what's going on and, and how the frame structure is coming along. Um, the one thing we want to do is invite everybody out on uh, May 10th and 11th to Altoona, Pennsylvania, to the Blair County Convention Center, where we will be displaying the frame for the first time for public viewing. Uh, it's going to be something that most people will only see once in their lifetime. They'll probably never see it in this condition again because we'll be continuing to bolt stuff onto it. As the frame expands, it gets bigger. So you come out, it's open to the general public, uh, free to come out, take a look, bring your family, bring your friends, and take a look at it. We'll have a private event and dinner that uh, everybody is welcome to on Friday, May 10th, and then on Saturday, May 11th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You are welcome to come and check it out, talk to members of the T1 Trust and see how it's being done. Come put your hands on it and uh, see how your donations are being spent. So please consider coming out again, May 10th and 11th. Uh, we'd love to see you at Altoona, Pennsylvania. I'm here at Dover Tank and Plate with Davey Lawless, uh, the welding supervisor here for the uh, company, uh, welding the frame together for the T1. So today he's demonstrating for us what submerged arc welding is, what majority of the frame will be welded together the process which the, the frame will be welded together with. So he's going to explain to us how that submerged arc welding goes, and you're going to see some examples of that today on some of the smaller pieces uh, that we bring here from the shop. So, uh, Dave, why don't you explain to everybody how the uh, welding process works? So, here we have the tractor here for the submerged arc process. We have a 332nd inch wire. This is a Lincoln L61. And then we have the uh, powdered granular flux that comes out of this side here. This is a Lincoln 880 flux. And what it is, is the arc from the wire is submerged underneath a bed of flux. So it shields it from the outside environment, provides a clean weld each time. And also this process is known for its speed. It's uh, heat, uh, holding a heat input, and also it's really good bead appearance at the end of the welding process. We use this 332nd L61 with the 860 flux to give us a good uh, combination of impact resistance as well as good weld penetration and as well as a good output of the strength of the filler metal. So here we're operating at roughly 35 volts, 450 amps, and about 20 inches a minute. So, so the, the great thing about this, this type of welding is one, as you mentioned, the speed also the penetration, but it also the strength for us. And then uh, many of these welds will be uh, checked with many different methodologies, whether it's ultrasound or uh, radiography, to verify that there's no uh, imperfections in the weld. So we can't have an imperfect weld because that's where a crack or a flaw might happen later on. So we, we have to be very cognizant of that and make sure every weld is, is as perfect as we can possibly make them so that uh, we have no issues later on. So. Uh, thank you for this, and thank you for demonstrating on how uh, this works. We appreciate yep. it. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the project. Yeah. So. Now that you've seen uh, the, how the welding process is going on the locomotive frame and coming together, the next video we bring you will be a, a much larger assembled piece of equipment here. So we're, we're excited about that. Uh, and then here in just a few weeks, um, bringing the whole thing out to uh, Altoona so that you can take a look at it and see it for yourself. So. Um, that's a pretty exciting time. Again, we want to thank everybody for the donations they made to get us this far and make this happen. We hope that you continue to open your checkbooks and help us out as there's still a lot more locomotive to build. We want to start on the cylinders here pretty soon, get them attached to the frame and uh, keep going uh, on the running gear and uh, be able to put a boiler on, on a frame and wheels and hook it to a tender in the, the not too distant future. So it's all becoming very real as we uh, continue to add more and more steel to this process. So please consider us uh, for additional donation. And we really hope that you come out and see us in Altoona, Pennsylvania on May 10th or 11th. Uh, still time to buy a ticket for the our fundraising dinner and hear all about the project in great detail. So thanks again and enjoy your time.